Welcome to the Sage Thought Leadership Podcast, transforming the way people think and work so their organizations can thrive. Well, hi, everyone, and welcome to our podcast. I'm Ed Kless, and with me today is my Sage colleague, Scott Whitney. Scott is the Senior Professional Services Consultant with North American Center for Excellence, formerly known as the Professional Services Group. Scott is a part of a team responsible for consulting, implementing, and supporting our customer and partner success through Sage X3. He accomplishes this using a highly interpersonal style and 30-plus years of operational leadership and extensive experience in supply chain operations. Welcome to the Sage Thought Leadership Podcast, Scott Whitney. Great. Thank you, Ed, very much. Uh, It's a pleasure and honor to be here. I really enjoy listening to these podcasts. Well, great. So you know the deal then. So, Scott, why do you do what you do? I, I have always, always had a passion uh, for coaching, leading, and supporting individuals and teams at all levels of an organization, whether that's in business, my personal life, or the military. And uh, so I always seek to you know, put people first and then allow for opportunities for growth, open collaboration, teamwork, uh, things like that. I mean, that, that, that is my why. So if you're familiar with Simon Sinek, that's my why. Everything That's exactly where this question ar- arose from. So you 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 nailed it. Um, so tell me about your passion for for networking, though, both both inside Sage and outside of Sage. Sure. Um, you know, when I started my Sage journey, it's coming up on three years ago now. It was with the intent on giving back to the operations community, taking things that I've learned over my time um, in business, uh, and then giving it back, learning from others, collaborating with, uh, and and just pushing boundaries. And, and one of the things that we do internally uh, and kind of externally now to Sage is our, our team, uh, and I have a, a partner here, uh, Clark Haskins, who's a Sage colleague on our distribution and manufacturing group. Um, we host now an informal and off hours collaboration call every Thursday night. It's at 7 p.m. Eastern. It's completely voluntary and was really born out of necessity, really. Um, one of our former colleagues, Mike Sai noticed uh, years ago that the finance team had a consultant's call completely voluntary. It's just somewhere they can get together, network, talk about issues that they've seen in the field, um, problems that they were having, uh, and then just sharing great product knowledge. And we didn't have that on the distribution and manufacturing side. So he, he took the initiative, created that similar opportunity. And again, we just discuss a wide range of topics. Uh, and issues that we all face either during the course of an implementation or, you know, post uh, post go live support. So as we continue to grow and collaborate with our partner t- enablement team, uh, and you met Liz Warner, uh, we want to expand that conversation and that discussion to our partner network, because there's no better way uh, to grow customer success than doing it with other folks that that share similar beliefs and and passions and things that we do. That's that's one um, more externally now. Um, with the Sage, uh, with the Sage Partner Network and our internal colleagues, but then internally, uh, it's through Sage Foundation. I love giving back, right? So um, I'm primarily involved with supporting the TutorMate uh, initiative. So it's a I have the privilege of tutoring first grade students in reading. So you're assigned a, a first grader, and every week, every other couple of days, however many times you want to schedule a session, it's a half hour session. And you get to log on to a computer and 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 talk with a first grade student and get and help them learn uh, how to read. So great joy and satisfaction in, in helping shape the the lives of our young folks. And uh, and there are a couple other um, things inside of Sage, uh, a couple of colleague success networks that I'm part of. Um, FBLS is the Future Business Leaders of Sage, uh, and I'm a member of that group. And I'm also in our mentor pilot team. Uh, so I'm actually mentoring another uh, Sage colleague, and I absolutely love it. Um, Sage uh, colleague Casey Ashley, uh, he's in inside sales. He's the point person for the network uh, and someone that you probably would love to have a conversation with uh, so he can share his vision and passion for this team. Uh, so he and uh, a team of uh, his Sage colleagues started this as a it's a diverse consortium, really, of highly motivated colleagues that just seek to improve themselves and promote growth network. For other future leaders. And I just absolutely love that. Um, and then Vets at Sage is another one. I'm a Marine Corps veteran. Um, I spent 10 years in the Corps and, and uh, have always loved being able to help transitioning service members because I've been there, done that. And that's what this group does. So it, it's other Sage colleagues uh, and veterans that support transitioning servicemen and women 
um, veterans and supporters across Sage. Uh, James uh, Williams uh, in talent acquisition uh, helped found this group. And he's a former service member as well. So we have quite a few members in that team. And it's really about fostering outreach, um, camaraderie, things that we've done in the military for, you know, for years. Uh, and quite frankly, I miss the most. Uh, and then it's to help support professional development. Uh, so those are the things that, that we do internally and externally to, to help network. Well, first off, thank, thank you for your service. Uh, oh, okay. but, but what I wanted to, to talk to you a little bit about with regard to everything that, that you just said is wrapped around something that I've thought about for a while under the heading of what, what is called social capital. Right. The, this this notion of different forms of capital, one of them being social capital. Of course, your grandmother talked about it this way. It's not what you know, it's who you know, who you know. and <laughs> how how if we have a rich social capital it's it's in a sense. Not in a sense, it is more valuable in, than financial capital because Absolutely. we can access all of these people. And even if I don't know the answer, I can get you to the person who does or maybe the person who knows the person who does. <laughs> You're 100 percent correct. 100%. Um, that's, uh, I found even through different job searches that I've been a part of, uh, having a, a network, job search networks and, and colleagues that are in that same, same uh, situation as you are at that time, uh, being a part of that and finding that, that camaraderie and being able to, to know someone that knows someone because you can connect anywhere. It's always the seven degrees of separation. If I don't know, somebody else will. And that's the best thing about not only just the, the social collaboration piece, but it's also personal growth, right? The more, the more you know, the better you are because you can always help someone else. Your journey is going to be someone else's saving lifeline at some point. And, uh, and, and that's just, it's a way to inspire and help others. It really is. Yeah. And sometimes it's what's, what I find it interesting is that it's oftentimes the, 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 the let's call it the strength of weak ties, Right. Mm -hmm. it, it's not necessarily the person that you're BFFs with, as the kids say, but mm -hmm. it's just someone that you happen to know and say, oh, I can refer you to somebody. And it's it's almost it's a weak tie that you have that creates the strength of the network. That's you're absolutely right. You don't have to be the personal friends or the, the BFF, but uh, reaching out to to others uh, just as a just to say hello and say, hey, I, I know this person. I'd love to connect you. I don't need to be a, a big part of that. It's just knowing that that has occurred and then allowing that person to come back and say, hey, thank you. Right. I, I've been able to connect with this person. They've helped me out in this way and they pay it forward. It's all about paying it forward. Uh, and Scott, we have an exit question that we ask all of our guests, as you know, and that is who is a hero of yours and why are they a hero? Sure. I, I love this question. Um, it, I, I've asked this a couple of times in some uh when I've been doing interviews, um, and I don't have just one specific hero, I, I look, especially now during those, these times in the situational uh, uh, world that we're in with the pandemic, but frontline workers, servicemen and women, you know, all those who protect our freedoms that sometimes we take for granted, uh, those are my heroes. Uh, and everyone that I come in contact with that has had an impact on my life is a hero to me because they have given of themselves without or with knowing that they've done it, right? Words matter, things happen, and, and being able to share those experiences with each other, I consider folks like that heroes. Um, you know, I, I talked a little bit earlier about Simon Sinek, and, and he's just an eternal optimist. And I'm, I live my life in a positive attitude, uh, something I learned from my high school junior English teacher about positive mental attitude. I do that every day. Uh, and I always want to have that optimistic out, um, uh, outlook on life. And, uh, you know, Simon has a, a quote on his website. It says, to inspire people to do things that inspire them so that together each of us can change our world for the better. So everyone I come in contact with, to me, is a hero. And lastly, Scott, how can somebody the, contact you? The easiest way uh, is through email. Uh, Scott.Whitney at sage.com. I'm also huge on LinkedIn. I don't post a lot, but I get out and read and, and help and, and connect others through networking. Uh, and you can find me at CS Whitney on LinkedIn. All right, Scott Whitney, Senior Professional Services Consultant with the North American Center for Excellence. Thanks so much for being a guest on the Sage Thought Leadership Podcast. Thanks, Ed, for having me. It's been a pleasure speaking with you today. 
Review and subscribe by searching your podcast player of choice for Sage Thought Leadership Podcast. 